Charlotte. I'm um, glad to be in Charlotte. It's a great day. Uh, what's been your convention experience so far? Well, you know, this is my ninth Democratic National Convention, and I've also been to three Republican conventions. Uh, uh, and it's always a great feeling, the optimism, the spirit, the connecting with people, and a sense of purpose. Uh, and I think it's a positive feeling uh, about the fall. I'm really here to promote our message of Occupy the Vote and to say that participating in voting, pushing back on voter ID laws, is a very important part of what we all have to do this fall. Do you think that Republicans will be successful in their efforts to end voter suppression? We're going to do everything we can to prevent voter suppression from taking place. We want ballot integrity. What we don't want is an assault on democracy. That creates new barriers and new restrictions and new hurdles for people to jump before they cast their right to vote. What about Governor Romney? Um, he's polling at zero percent uh, among African Americans in a recent uh, NBC yeah. Wall Street Journal poll. They've not made much of an effort. I mean, I think that uh, you know you are never going to make inroads in any community unless you make an effort. Uh, we invited Governor Romney to the National Urban League Conference. Uh, he did not attend. I don't know if Governor Romney is engaged in any real dialogue with African American leaders in the country. Uh, that's not to say he doesn't have some African Americans on his staff. But I lead a nonpartisan organization which has been around 100 years. Uh, and we, we are always open to dialogue with everyone, uh, including Governor Romney. Uh, there has not been that kind of dialogue. What was your reaction to last week's convention in Tampa and the Republicans' efforts to demonstrate uh, a, a kind of diversity? In well, let me say this. It, I, I will say it's always good when people try to promote and embrace diversity, but it's for the voters to look behind what they see to see the substance behind it. What's more important about whether it's the Republicans or the Democrats is also the policies that they espouse. Uh, and, and we encourage people to keep a close focus on what both candidates say. You know, as a nonpartisan organization, we encourage people to take the Urban League agenda and compare it to both the agenda of the president and the agenda uh, of Romney and Ryan, and, and and use that as a guidepost to think about what they're going to do in the voting situation. Let me ask you the question that's on everyone's minds these days. Are we better off than we were four years ago? I think the question is, will we be better off in the future based on who's playing? It's a different question. It's not about looking back, it's about looking forward. Whose plan will make the nation better off?